me, it was really about taking those opportunities, making the best of them. They're all good ones in their own respect. Um, and also trying to identify what you found as a strength in each of them and seeing that as a consistent narrative that you can build for yourself. Um, I think that everything is cumulative. Every experience you have, even if it's not the one that you thought you were going to have, you can see it building on itself. Once you get a few years down the road and look back, you can see that it, you wouldn't be where you're at today if you hadn't done this random thing. And then the next random thing you're going to do is going to probably be the same story. I don't know. It's, it's been that way for me. So, Having a Peace Studies degree, I think, informs you in a lot of ways and makes it very possible for you to understand um, the dynamics of things that other people might not. But I think that also sometimes employers see peace studies and they think like, well, what is that? Um, and unless, you know, you're going to law school and you have a law degree to build on that or something else, if you just have social science and humanities experience like myself, you really have to work very hard um, to kind of carve an avenue for yourself. Um, but in a lot of ways it's been great. It's given me a lot of flexibility and a lot of agency over my own career choices. Um, and, and I also think that um, as someone who is kind of abstract and conceptual in the way that I do my work, it's, it's fit me very well, but it's also come with periods of great financial instability um, and, and, a, and a lot of kind of ups and downs. Um, but overall, I feel good about it. Uh, peace studies itself, though, as Shanti alluded to, it, it, it focuses on realms not normally touched on. It, when you show up with a peace studies degree to an employer, they're not going to immediately recognize what your skill set is that's unique and valuable. Um, and that's not to say it's, it's detracting at all, because once it's, it's used in the organization, it proves itself to be very, very valuable to team settings, to understanding how to deploy uh, organizational mission, things like that. Those are really core to what peace studies type classes and the major might speak to, is how to, to build positive systems. Um, and so that's something that I really connected to in the major and that's something that I took forward is that it, it allowed me to, to take on my work with a little bit more of a higher level thinking in terms of here's my day-to-day -day activities, but I'm also thinking about what impact that has into the organizational mission, about the growth of the organization, about the way that we're serving the people themselves um, with a little bit more of an objective lens. And I think that that's something reinforced through a peace studies approach. I would recommend, you know, whatever it is you're thinking about doing, try and find some contacts and just do some informational interviews before you, uh, you know, get too far down the path so you can get a better idea of, you know, what's actually involved with whatever it is you're thinking about, you know, be it a career path or a graduate school. And people are really receptive in the St. Ben St. John's community. It's, it's, yeah. it's not always possible to get you a job when you're looking for a job but it's definitely very accessible and easy for me to talk to you if you're interested in learning about something. Um, like that's really easy for me to do and it, it doesn't ask for me to leverage much on my part and I'm, I think most of the people I've reached out to in the past have always been really receptive. So I, I would just reinforce that same thing. That that's definitely a resource that this community, <coughs> St. Ben's, the Johnny, the Benny community holds as uniquely um, valuable to alumni. Just that, especially in today's economy, extern externships, internships, volunteer opportunities, um, AmeriCorps, Peace Corps, just any service um, capacity really is basically your most realistic and beneficial option in getting meaningful experience in a field, both for you and for your resume. So you can just you can really leverage a lot of externship opportunities even now, like depending on what you do in the summertime, there's a big difference between, you know, maybe working at the blend or working in food service, which is totally fine. But if you, if you can afford it, if you can afford the time or the finances to try out something that you're really seriously considering, you'll save yourself a lot of time and money in the long run. Because you can get, get your foot in the door, meet people, meet people outside that business, in, the net, like in that business network or in that organization, and you can decide if you really like it or not. And if you don't, then you can change your course accordingly. Mm. And if you do, then you know that and you can start focusing in a lot more on how to make that a reality for you. There are things about the Peace Studies major mm. that kind of transcend all different industries. And 
what that is is just you know the focus on people and really being able to empathize with empathize with people and um, just really understanding the you know the human condition I think that's always going to be a factor no matter wherever you find yourself and sometimes that will lend you um, you know you'll be better served at having that knowledge and that kind of that base Mm -hmm. as opposed to maybe a business degree or, mm -hmm. um, you know, an accounting degree. Um, I feel like I can very easily um, kind of insert myself into different situations or different, um, you know, problems at work. And I don't know if I would be able to have be able to do that if I had a different background. Mm -hmm. um,